God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, eat Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. ...that it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But... ...what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts... ...sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout... ...when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue... ...but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath. Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. 
I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Tanako-sama, soro-soro go jitaku ni omodori itaraite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But, and, Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, um, uh, you are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Ah, I'll think it over. You could use some air right now. to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. Want me to hand over the keys. I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endo Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Uh-huh. How oh, exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find a way inside, Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka's just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you... tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. I need more time. I need to... Don't you get it? Time is something we are fresh out of. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the... Not this time. Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you checking out again? Sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Uh. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. 
No, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Dalaman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... I wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up, carefully. I'll try. Think I'm getting some feeling back. <sighs> so slowly. Another victory for the history books. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands, understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find the last dose of pseudo-endotrize in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine. Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy... for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. That floor. He had the same glum face. Oh, Jack. This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... 
He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? Come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. You're on unachievable these days. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Not what you expect. No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Judy. Yeah. Even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. Wish it had been anything else. Something nice. Hey, not like it was your fault. Here's hoping it comes out better next time. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> Man, you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then... You'll have your own soul on your conscience. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. <sighs> Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just want to be there for it. Aware. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. V? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our Arasaka Tower, now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, 
why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Been alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. Yeah. No mistake in that ride ever. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V.
Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Great, I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we Can't don't have I one either. You. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, <clears throat> what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. We see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militex, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? plan entire op it's about heading into enemy territory you'll make enemies of arasaka and others so it appears i'm exposing you all of you to danger want out want to cut your losses i'd understand no hard feelings you came to us for help we decided we'd provide it our minds are made up no more discussion needed it's settled we had best get to work i'll talk to our brothers and sisters Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Long story. One you assume I'd rather not hear, hmm? V, allow me to be blunt. I don't like that the particulars of this raid could venture outside this tent or this family. But do what you must. Find Dakota, she'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Hey, Dakota. I'm V. We've never met. Chamai, sister. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. I'm gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. I spilled tub. Baby bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? Oh. 
All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently. He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Access point. Can already tell you ice all the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. Barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost a hundred. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have. Holy. Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with Once Upon a Time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. 
If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Oh, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. It's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. Well, it's about time we fix that. Downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldecaldo, dammit. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, v. v, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. Welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! say. It's about time you did it. No, like... I really don't... ever expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll some basketball and to you. glory. You're giving me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? As snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Elder Compass devotion. Thanks, Pino. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. The sensors malfunction at higher altitude. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. 
It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Oh well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. I think Pan Am knows exactly what she's doing. But does she know what she wants? Useful if she wants to take the clan wheel. Cool your heels, friend. No one's taken over anything just yet. We need to focus on tomorrow, brothers. Let's all get back in one piece. Then we talk clan politics. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Bet they won't. Good night. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. So. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between Isn't us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. Hope so. Take care, Saul. Good night. Good night. Listen to this. And they need some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. What's this? I might have. Some sort? You have to look around. Essentially. Take so maybe I'll now. take two and more forty-five. The occasion so would be, be the end okay. times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some raffin. Militech broadcasts on modular frequency. Look what the cat dragged in. Aim to prep for tomorrow? You could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. I heard that a long time ago, round right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. 
I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Doubt I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. Stop! Christ, what kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Thanks, Cass. You earned it. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. <laughs> 